Hello, I am Mal, and welcome to XCOM The Long War Beta 15F2. This is a season two for me. Yes, this is my second official run into XCOM Long War. This is part of my run up to XCOM 2, which will release in November of 2015. I am recording this in August of 2015, if you're from the future. <laughs> And uh, I'm doing this primarily because I wanted to see all of the beta 15F to changes and because quite frankly, I'm just I, I, I'm having XCOM withdrawal. So I, I need to play XCOM and I do plan on playing this alongside XCOM 2. Mm hmm. I'm going to play them both. I know I've lost my mind. <laughs> anyway, um, there is an episode zero actually for this campaign. You'll find that in the playlist. Um, and that goes over all of the beta 15 starting country bonuses, um, as well as um, the second wave options. And I kind of explain my rationale behind what I am and am not using in this campaign. Uh, I've also noted it in the description of this video. So if you want to go back and check out episode zero, there'll be a link right around, I don't know, here ish, like right here. This looks like a good spot. I'll put a link there for you if you want to go look at that. Otherwise, let's just jump into some action, shall we? Okay, we'll be playing on Impossible, Advanced Options. We're going to reduce the beginner VO. I have both DLCs enabled. And then under Second Wave Options, I will be using Commander's Choice. Uh, let's see, what else? We will be using Hidden Potential. We will not be using Repair, so we're getting rid of Durability. I'm not using Friendly Skies, so the game is going to be, the air game is going to be just as torturous as it always is. I am going to use Perfect Information, so I see the enemy to hit values. That's kind of nice. So you know, oh, how how close were you to getting hit? You'll get to see that on the fly, which is nice. Uh, I'm not going to use Recon. That shows you where the enemy meld and stuff is, so I, I, I don't need that. Let's see, what else was I going to do here? Was something else? Oh, yeah, Dynamic War. So again, I can I will be playing this um, even when XCOM 2 comes out, but I want to make some progress and I want to make the progress a little faster. So I'm going to I'm going to go with the default of 50 percent of standard long war speed. OK, let me just double check. I think that's it. I don't want to miss anything. I don't think I am. Not nah, looks right to me, looks right to me. Okay, let's start. Okay, now for starting locations, I had asked everyone um, in episode zero. So if you missed that, I'm sorry. I'm sorry if you missed it. <laughs> but I asked everyone to give their feedback on starting country bonuses. Um, and there was really three that I was I was focused on. So um, up here, I, I wanted uh, potentially to start with Jungle Scouts, so early armors, TAC vest, um, TAC armor, Kestrel, so on and so forth, receive a small item slot. So it's like it's like having tactical rigging up until the point when you develop tactical rigging, then it becomes moot. OK, uh, so that was one of the one of the ones I was interested in. There was three. The second was. Let's see, I believe it's under Canada. Yes. Cadre, you start with four corporals in the barracks. I think that's pretty good. Now, again, my 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 thought process was that I wanted something that obviously would be beneficial, but I didn't want to I didn't want something that was overpowered either. So that's a, a lot of what had to do with with my um, the three that I honed in on. OK, and then last but not least, the one I was most interested in was plus one mobility. Now, there was a, there was different, you know, different thought process, different comments on, you know, what I should or shouldn't uh, choose. And again, I appreciate that, but I'm, I'm going to stick with my gut uh, and I want to build teams around mobility. And I'm kind of hoping that um, my hidden potential selection as well will give me some people that that have some nice mobility, even at the cost of some other things like will or aim. And I want to build a fast team. So this plus one mobility, I think, is just too good for me to pass up. So that's what I'm going to go with. We're heading to South Africa for this one, and we need to get down there fast. We've picked up a local broadcast indicating alien activity within a major metropolitan area. We should get down there and eliminate any hostiles. All right. Sounds good, Bradford. Thank you, buddy. Strike one. This is central. You are free to engage all hostile contacts in the AO. Don't take any chances. Okay, so 
Uh, if you're interested in uh, if you're interested in joining this campaign as a soldier, there's a link below this video. Hey, look, it's Shin's nephew. <laughs> If you're interested in joining this campaign, there is a link below this video, and that will uh, let you uh, fill out a little thing to be added to the campaign as a soldier. Moving. All right, let's move. Solid copy. Uh, we'll just go over here for now. There's probably stuff to our left, so I'll set Moving. some folks up this way as well. The animations look fast, you know. It's because I'm speeding things up. Just until we make contact. Out. So we'll go like this, and then Overwatch. Okay, so we've got Meld this way, and it looks like our first opponents are that way. Okay. Uh, what do we have as far as gear goes? We've got a medkit, grenade, medkit, flash. Grenades, grenades, grenades. Okay, so let's do this. Let's set you up here. Let's set you up here. Yep. And... Don't want to get spotted yet, so let's... Maybe do something like this. And can you move out here without seeing anything inside? I think so. Yeah, there we go. Okay, and you can... What do you got? Assault rifle? Alright, use steady weapon. Just in case one runs out this way, we'll actually be able to take a shot even if they're behind cover. And then... Let's see, you set up, you're gonna be the runner. Roger, yep, you're gonna go inside next time. Okay, and we'll overwatch again. Okay, are we gonna make first contact over there? I'd rather not. i rather not. Alright, pop the door. Alright, let's go ahead and move forward. Ah, okay, that's closed back there. We'll move for the meld. Yep. Okay, let's reconfigure then. We'll set up this way because we have aliens here. And then it would appear that there's some either here or back here. So we'll just set up for that. We'll secure the meld. Roger that. Go ahead and move in here. Okay, you jump inside. Just facing sectoids at this point, but... Uh, for those of you not familiar with Long War, um, sectoids actually can be a little bit nasty. Uh, even at the beginning here. I'll go ahead and slow down the animations. Let's see, okay. You can... Hmm. They can be a little bit nasty because they do all have low profile, so they use any cover as full cover, so that's a challenge. They spam all kinds of cyanic stuff, which can be a problem. Okay, let's go ahead and grab that meld. Good, so we picked up 10. And... Hmm. Since there might be something to our flank, I'm not going to dash. Heading out. Move up here. Heading there now. Let's go see if we make contact here. Nope. Okay. Solid copy. And we'll move up. You know what? She can hang out right there. I don't want to risk it. I was gonna just dash up there, but... Nah, let's not. Okay, you... can step out here and move to cover next turn. And let's grab you. You can move up here. We'll push towards the meld, because there's no reason for us not to, right? Come on. On my way. Okay, let's move up. Really? Nothing, huh? That's weird. Heading to that location. Here they come. There we go. Four pack, huh? Alright. 
two went out of line of sight. And grenades are going to be too far, right? Yep. Alright, then we're going to move back. Out of line of sight. I'm on the move. move over here. Hmm. You know what? I think actually I'll just overwatch back here and not move up. You can move here, you're gonna overwatch. You're gonna dash over here with them. You're gonna dash out to our flank. Yep, and you're gonna overwatch nothing that matters. We got a mine merge going on. Reaction shot. Missed. Well, it. Eh, it was 50-50 or 49-51. Okay. They're having to move far enough up that I don't think they're going to get any shots on us. Another reaction shot. Awesome. Good hit. Can't ask for more than that from a rookie. So we should still, ha still, still have three active, right? Yeah. I think so. Let's see. Now, how do we want to handle this? Hmm. That's a good question. Let's see. Like a four. Hmm. Let's move. There we go. Set up maybe a flank for next turn. We could do double grenade on this guy up front. What's your chance to hit here? 25%? You know what? I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to overwatch here. And... Heading to that move location. over here. Like so. What's my chance to hit? 26%. Okay, let's set overwatch there. That's affirmative. Okay, and... Bunker down. Set up another overwatch, and let's see what he does. So he had a 29% chance to hit us. His buddy moves up. His buddy overwatches. Okay. We need to get rid of that guy. We have no scouts, so we have no way to trigger that. Aha! There's another buddy on Overwatch. Huh, I guess I'll, I'll need to add that. I've got a couple of different mods on top of Long War that I'm using. Um, sleeve Genie and a couple other things that I, I'll put in the description below, but I thought the tactical enhanced tactical user interface was part of Beta 15F, and it shows you the number of opponents that you have and how many you've killed, but maybe not, or maybe not on the rookie mission? Hmm. Might have to add that in. In any case, that's a really, really cool mod. So I will add that. I need to kill one of these guys this turn. Can I get a grenade in there? Yeah, 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 okay, let's try that. And there's one down. Good. Okay. 21%. Okay, we'll steady weapon. And shifting here. There we go. You know what? You overwatch. Can I move here without... Getting shot at? I don't think he'll be able to shoot at me. Nope. Good. <laughs> Threaded the needle there a little bit. Overwatch. I'm rolling. Okay, and we'll overwatch here. Remember, we do have another sectoid right over here that we're dealing with. And I think for now, best bet to actually to back up here. Yep. If this guy wants, if this guy over here wants to try to flank her, he's gonna have to go through some overwatch. Yeah, I didn't think so. 
Maybe the other one will move up and then I can just go shoot him in the face. I think he moved up behind the van, so I should be able to come here. No! Really? Interesting. Yes, sir. So he's either back here, or he's really sneaky and he's over here on this side of the van. Alright, well, Overwatch... What we can do... Is anyone else over here? Yeah, you're on Overwatch too, huh? 41%. Not great, but better than nothing. Nope, miss. Okay. What's your chance to hit? 19? Can't get the flashbang there, huh? Alright, Overwatch it is. Now, you Overwatch as well. You move back. And then... Overwatch. Just in case that other one's on the side of the van. 22% chance to hit me. He missed, good. Now we'll move forward on him. Probably not gonna get that other metal canister. Okay, let's check the side of the van. It's clear. Move here for the flank. Okay, three damage. Not quite getting it done, but it was a hit. It was a hit. All right, then. Let's go. Heading out. Here, we'll move up here. Let's just go ahead and finish this guy off. Can we get it in there? No. All right, well then. Hmm. We need to kill that guy. That guy needs to die, like, right now. 25% chance to hit. That's not what I'm looking for. Aye, aye, Commander. Can't get the grenade in there. All right, we'll have to flashbang him. So we've got an exposed soldier over here. I really thought we were going to get that done with the flanking shot, but... No, we didn't. All right, we'll take this corner of the van. And we're going to dash up. We're going to get right in this guy's face. He's not that much of a risk, other than to the guy he's flanking. He's not... It's not okay. that big of a deal now, since he's disoriented. What about an HG grenade? That should do enough to kill him, right? Maybe? Let's try. Grenade out. If it does kill him, we wasted the flashbang. That's all right. I'm okay with wasting the flashbang. <laughs> Better to be safe than sorry. Okay, we will overwatch back here. We should should still have one. Yep, one sectoid active. The flanking my position. 66. 66. Oh. Hmm. Bad deal there. But alive. But alive. All right, who had the med kit? Well, you're going to move over here, for starters. And hunker down. Meanwhile, I need to get the rest of the team up here. Because we're going to end up with another pack. Yeah, or two, right? We'll end up with like ten aliens in this mission. Yeah, let's get everyone up here. Yep. Overwatch. Dash up. Take that corner. 1% chance to hit. Good. Missed. Then we'll pull her back. Here's the next group. Glad I moved the team up. Lost the meld container. I just heard it go. Oh, we got one, though. We got one. Okay, you're gonna move back. And honker. Moving. Alright, let's move up. They 
Okay, you overwatch, overwatch. Solid copy. Okay, we'll move these folks up. Yes, sir. Really should reload, but I want to try to keep them penned down, thus the overwatching. 42%, get him! That's a good hit, good hit. Now hopefully he's moved too far to do anything, I think he has. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, so the mine merger is way back here. And we don't have a grenade. At least not one in range, huh? Okay, what about you? How far can you move? Well, we can AP grenade these guys. Yeah, like this? That ought to be a pretty good grenade, so let's do that. Killed one, almost got the other. Okay, so let's do this then. That guy will have us on flank, but not if we go here. Ooh. Okay, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> That's That didn't go as planned there. Let's look at our other options. Okay, we're probably gonna have to back off. I could drop another AP grenade here. Nope, not in range. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll overwatch here. Yeah, you're gonna have to come out of there. That's not gonna work. No, 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 that's that's too dangerous. Problem is, he's, he might come up and try to flank. I'm on the move. Let's go here. We'll dash someone over there. We'll take up this position here. We'll set an overwatch to cover this corner. We'll set another overwatch from back. Actually, yeah, we can set another overwatch from back here. This sector I'm a little worried about. We've got proximity bonus on this soldier here. 43%. Oof, okay. Resist. Oh, panicked. Dang it. Pull your stuff together, soldier. We don't have time for that nonsense. Oh, that was a great clutch shot there. 28%. Good shot. Alright, now. On my way. Gonna move up. And we're gonna toss a grenade right in here. Should take care of these two little buddies. Like so. Throwing grenade. How do you win on early missions in Impossible? Simple. Judicious use of explosives. <laughs> it's the only way. It's the only way. Well, it's not the only way, but it's a it's a pretty good way. Now the downside, of okay, course, is. You know, fragments and whatnot, which you do need. You do desperately need those. But, you know, I'm all about That's affirmative. trying to get through the first couple of missions with, like, you know, all of our soldiers go. intact. Yeah, you hunker down back here. They're falling back. It's going to take a 27%. He missed. Good. Aha, there was another group back there. Okay. Ah, uh, I think we're okay. Yeah, we should be okay. We'll just do something like this. We'll move. We should be okay doing this. There we go. Nice flank. And then, let's see. How about here? Actually, let's go here, so we'll actually have some visibility on those guys that are going to be coming in at us. You... Dash over there. Mm-hmm. You need to run big time. How far can you get? 
I need you out of line of sight, ideally. Uh, I guess that'll have to do there. Mr. One Hit Point. We do have a med kit back here somewhere. Let's see. Do I go up to meet him? I think not. I think we take this right here. Reload. Gonna overwatch here, because I can shoot through the little, like, separation between the head of the truck and the trailer. Um, ooh, uh, move forward. You have a grenade? You don't. All right, we'll move forward. I'll flank. Take that shot. And miss it. <laughs> that was worth it. It was worth it to take that flank. Okay, took a shot. 22% missed. Let's hope his buddy is also a bad aim. Nope, going for a panic. Yep. They can be frustrating. At least she hunkered down. Okay, now let's dash up here. Twenty-five percent chance to hit, huh? Yeah, I don't think so. Okay, you move here. Moving out. Let's go ahead and heal that up. Nothing's broken. You're fine. So in theory, she can take a shot again, maybe. All right, what's well, twenty-three percent chance to hit, huh? Nope, we're gonna Overwatch. Reload. It's about all we can do this turn, really. You're gonna leave yourself exposed? It's interesting. I guess did that because my soldiers panicked, so it felt safe to do that. Still an odd choice. I can't run that overwatch. Darn it. I mean, I can. I can. <laughs> I shouldn't. Hmm. I could run it this way. I could run it this way and then move up and throw a grenade and at least kill the front guy. Or I could drop a grenade right here and potentially get these guys. That's probably worth the risk. 31% chance. Oh, she's gonna make it. She's gonna make it, I think. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. That was... <laughs> that, was that wasn't advisable, really, truth be told. Don't do that. Don't do what I just did. Don't do that. So I could drop this grenade like that or drop it right on him. Hmm. You know what? Actually, I think I'm going to drop it right on this guy. And not kill him, because, you know, why would we want to do that? That's just crazy. All right, let's see. On it. 18%, huh? Okay. <laughs> Think about doing something not good. Nah, no, no. Overwatch. I was gonna move forward to this half cover and take a take a flank shot, but it wouldn't even been a hundred percent, so that would have been a little bit unwise. I can, however, 
dash up here, and it should force them to relocate, allowing me to take a couple of decent overwatch shots. There we go. Nice shot and got a promotion. Good. Another overwatch shot. Awesome. Great job. Great job. So this should be the last sectoid that we have to deal with. So let's see. How do we want to do this? We can flank, but I don't have a backup plan if that doesn't kill it. Let's see. Let's dash up here. We'll just corner him and... Take it easy on dealing with him. Pretty good mission so far. I don't want to have problems here at the end. Dash over here. And you can stay where you're at and just overwatch. And Moving you can move up. Overwatch. Dash up. Headed there now. Sidestep. Overwatch. 24%. He missed. Good. Heading out. 65%, huh? There we go. I had enough other soldiers and I had grenades. <laughs> so I had a backup plan. I had a backup plan. On high alert. Teams are standing by for your orders. We can begin researching the newly recovered artifacts immediately. All right. 10 aliens killed. Pretty good mission. Commander to the research labs. Commander to the research labs. All right. So let's take a look here. We do have one gravely wounded person, but eh, it's going to happen, right? Long war on impossible. It's bound to happen. At least she's alive. Okay, so let's take a look. And we do have Commander's Choice, so actually, you know what? We'll go to the barracks to do the this. The recovered artifacts are being unloaded, and the research team is waiting your orders. We'll get started as soon as you give the... Alright, so for research, we'll start with Xenobiology. It seems the complexities of our latest research... Okay, now let's take a look at our facilities. We're going to go to the barracks and do those promotions in a second. The reason we're doing it from there is because you can't use Commander's Choice from the promotion screen. Okay, so for facilities, well, at least the steam vents are on top of each other. That's kind of nice. Commander They're also... To control. <sighs> Commander to mission control. There we go. Let me get out of that. Uh, they are, however, over here, isolated. They're on the third level. But that's okay. At least it's not interfering with the satellite uplink block that we'll build over here. Hmm. Question is, should I excavate and then start building power generator on this side, or should I just build one here? Well, I can always come back to that. Let's go take a look at our promotions. Oh, this is new in Beta 15 too. This is really cool. It shows you your total number of soldiers, how many are available, and then it's got the, the different classes with their own icons. It shows you how many you have available. Like an example, and you know, I have a zero of zero assaults available, and they have their own little icon. This is this is infantry, this is engineer, this Commander is medic, gunner, rocketeer, scout, sniper. Room. What? I already okay. Every situation room. The council is going to want satellite coverage, so we should plan our deployments carefully. Copy that. All right, so let's take a look at these soldiers. Sixty-four. Hmm. But four base health, four team mobility. So make, should make a pretty good uh, assault. I mean, you usually want four or five base health. This guy's got great mobility, 15. Hmm. Of course, I do have plus one. Yeah, so that helps. This person's got 70 aim, five base health. Ugh. I mean, that's five base health on like a sniper is painful. 
<laughs> okay, well, actually, I think what I'll do is I will think about these a little bit and I'll hold off on doing these initial promotions. Um, and I need to look at my soldier list because people have been signing up. By the way, if you're interested, again, in becoming a soldier and having uh, someone named after you, there is a link below in the description of this video. You just fill something out real quick and it zips right over to me. Yeah, but I think I'll just go ahead and end this one here. But I hope that you enjoyed this first episode. Again, if you want to know more about why I chose what I chose and how I set this campaign up, you can actually check out episode zero. Thanks so much for watching. And until next time, I am Mal, and I'll see you later.